sorry, I didn't see you there. I was just getting ready to paint our van today. G'day legends, welcome back to another episode, or welcome if you are new around here. I am Doug, this is Jamie, and yes, as you saw in that <laughs> cringeworthy opening, today we are painting the van finally. I'm so excited. The roof got all scuffed up when we were moving things around, and just from our old setup, from Doug's work life, it's a looking a little lived in in here. I spilled a bucket of paint in it once. Yeah, so we're giving this baby a fresh new coat of paint. Also today, we're going to be putting the MDF backing on the other side of the van. That side is looking a little industrial at the moment. If you are new around here, this is a work slash camper van. So it's not always in camper van mode. Doug takes it to work. So when we had our old setup, what we did not do was put any protective layering on the stuff that we used as our camper van. And what that led to was a lot of scuffs and he's always putting plaster in and ladders in and it was just banging against things. So the paint was chipping and it just was looking a little right. rough around the yeah. edges. <laughs> so we want to prevent that this time around. So we're really taking this seriously. Once we get a fresh coat of paint on this, then it's going to be looking really schmick. And that also means that we are at the last stages where we can start decorating this thing and then go on a trip. Take you on a van tour. Yes, which, stay tuned, we're going to be announcing that in the weeks to come. So we are using oil-based mold resistant paint, which takes a bit to dry. So we need to get this paint on ASAP so we can put on a lot of layers. So this is the protective layering that we're going to be using. It was really not easy to get. We wanted something that was super durable and thick, but the price range for that, it can get really, really expensive, especially for industrial coverings. This one is like a nice thick sort of gym matting and we're going to be hanging it here on the walls so that when I throw ladders or scaffolding in, it hits that and doesn't hit our MDF board. It was also like really hard to get because they tend to sell this stuff in one meter squares and we need two and a half meters by a bit of coverage to cover the entire side of the van. We had to go to three different hardware stores because they were all out of stock. So we ended up getting this one this morning. It's gonna be nice. And like I said, at the end of the day, we're just gonna be hanging on these little hooks. And then at the end of the day, we're gonna be screwing these little hooks into the side of the van and hanging it on there like that. I was like taking the paint off the paint off the things and I was like, oh, this is enjoyable. Oh, no, this is nice. I'm enjoying this part of the video. Yeah. Oh, we are up to the good stuff. Now all the fucking mindless millimeter by millimeter yeah. framing is done. Fucking hell. Alright. Let's get some paint. Doug has conveniently went to go get more paint and left me to do all the painting. Look at me. I'm a mess. Ew, a bug just flew into the paint. Oh boy. Oh no, I think he's gonna. You're definitely a goner. Definitely a goner. I tried to save him and I just made it worse. There's a dead bug in there now. Just be 20 minutes, he said. There he is. 
Look who's decided to join us. Get out of YouTube. We just finished lunch and we've put coats two and three on a lot of things. So it's looking good. So excited. It's like so white and bright in there. And we are covered in paint. But it's worth it. How you doing? Keep painting. <laughs> just keep painting, just keep painting. I did the first layer and Doug's just taking over from here, but he's a professional painter. This is what he's good for. This is the one thing he's good for. This is what I live for. <laughs> if you do plan to use this stuff, beware of that. It, if you, this stuff is designed for public bathrooms. It's designed for public bathrooms, apparently. Does this fall out? Yeah, they fell out of my pocket. Oh my goodness. He's already dropped a pair of sunglasses in the paint and we had to throw them out. And now he almost dropped his car keys in the paint. I gotta go. I gotta go help him out before he drops our whole van in the paint. You guys don't understand how much a second coat of paint has changed the game in here. It is so light and airy. It looks awesome. Yeah, the pros on the brush. I know. No, I did a great first layer. And Doug's come in with the second coat and it just looks crisp in here. Nothing like a fresh coat of paint. I'm so excited to decorate this baby. <laughs> Alright guys, we have gotten the bulk of the painting done. While the painting's been drying, I have been working on the protective covers that we're going to be putting on things when it's back into work mode. So right now, if you can picture it, it's in camper van mode. We'd be putting our sink in. When I want to make it a work van, I'm going to be putting buckets on top of here and then ratcheting them down to the sides. So I put together this MDF ram board with stop holders when I'm driving around. And that sits on the kitchen, just like that. So now I can put my buckets on there, ratchet them down, good to go for work. So I've made one of them to sit on top of the bed as well, but the next thing that we're going to be working on is I'm just going to be cutting in around the tiles here with the paint. And while that paint is drying, I'm going to be putting the rubber mats on the side of the van here to protect all of the wall work that we've done today. We can't get these secured into the wall of the van. It's not going into the metal. So we're gonna put some timber blocks on to screw them into since it seems to go very easily into other materials that aren't the van wall. Oh, <laughs> and once again, we're gonna be running out of sunlight soon. So we got one on. It's screwed in, it's secure. It doesn't look the prettiest, but we'll make it work. We're gonna paint over it another day. We're going down, down, and another round. We finished before the sun went down. I think that's the first time we did that in this whole van series. Take that, sun! You didn't win today! <laughs> to be fair, spring's around the corner, so the sun's staying out longer, so we're probably still going at a snail's pace. The sun is giving. <laughs> yeah. But we finished, and this is what the van is going to look like when it is in work mode for Doug. Get out of the way, Doug. It's not cute, but it's effective, and it's going to keep things looking nice when we're in camper van mode. So if you can see, we got the covers on both sides to protect the splashback. And then we have MDF boards that are set up on the bed and the kitchen counter. So this is what Doug's work van's going to look like 
when he's working. I'm just glad that all our hard work isn't going to get ruined by the ladders and plaster and all of those things <laughs> that he throws in there and he eats lunch in there and gets it everywhere. So I'm glad that I can rest assured that our van's being protected from the chaos that is his life. <laughs> It is so exciting being this close to the end of the van build. Unfortunately, our work schedule, mine specifically, is getting in the way of us getting on the road as soon as this is done. So we're gonna have to wait a couple of weeks, but we're aiming for the end of September and we're really, really excited about that. Also, as you can see, it's starting to get warmer in Melbourne. Spring is around the corner. So the fact that we're wrapping this up now means that we get our Saturdays back and we can go back out, taste some different foods, going on adventures. And very just, excited for that. Yeah, just doing all the things that we love to do. So I am very excited about that as well. If you are in Melbourne and you know some good food places or just like fun activities or nature places, lakes, walking trails, definitely let us know in the comments because we love to hear it and we are always looking for suggestions. So we would love to hear from you. If you have made it this far in the video, thank you so much for sticking around and we hope that you stick around for the rest of the adventures that we have in and out of this van. That's my new slogan. <laughs> we do have one more van build episode coming up and that is decorating it. This is all Jamie's world. I am not a great decorator. <laughs> no. No, but... But he's got good ideas, all right? Don't let him fool you. But yeah, so we're going to get into the decorating phase, and that's not the only one, because we have a van tour coming as well. Oh, yeah, of course. So, Show it off once it's done. <laughs> so yeah, once we do the decorating, and we're probably going to do touch-ups as well on that day. So we have decorating left, and then we're going to take you guys on a van tour. And that is when we'll be announcing where we're going to be taking our very first trip in the new setup. I'm so excited. We still haven't like finalized it yet, so not even we know. But we have an idea of a couple oh, yeah, of spots. Yeah. Like so idea. yeah. So we'll be announcing that on the Van Tour episode, so stay tuned for that. And if you are enjoying this content, consider subscribing because we got a whole van tour coming and you don't wanna miss it. Thank you to our OJ subscribers for once again joining us this week. We appreciate every single one of you guys. We will see you next week with a fresh new decorating episode. Bye. Bye. Hey, have you seen that? I think, I think there's another video that you should be watching because this one's over. Done here. That one, right there. That's a good one. You should watch it. It's a real good one. Have you clicked it yet? Click. You should really watch it. Clickety click. It's great. Why, Why are you still here? Click on that video. <laughs> this one, right here. That one. Right now. Okay, bye.